Tonight, in a Coin6 investigation, did the Oregon Zoo promise to build an off-site elephant sanctuary? Was that promise part of the 2008 $125 million bond measure? Some animal rights groups say they backed that bond because they thought a sanctuary was part of this plan. Investigative reporter Carla Castaño is getting answers for us tonight. Carla? I started asking questions after people were telling me the Oregon Zoo and Metro, the government agency overseeing the zoo, failed to follow through with campaign promises. They say the pledge to build the off-site elephant refuge wasn't kept. Is it going to be a sanctuary or is it going to be an off-site breeding facility? I don't, I don't delineate the two like that. This is a sanctuary for these guys. This is their home. This is where they get what they need. Home is being expanded for the seven elephants who live at the Oregon Zoo. The exhibit upgrade was approved by voters in 2008, but was there supposed to be more? Some say the zoo and Metro promised voters an offsite elephant reserve. Both the zoo and Metro say that's not true. That wasn't in the original ballot measure. Why the confusion? There's disagreement about what was expected, even on what the offsite property would be used for and named. And getting a straight answer took some prying. Just to be clear, is it an elephant breeding facility or is it a habitat? What's it being called officially? We're, it's our, we're looking at it as an extension of our program. I'm sorry, you didn't answer the question. What is it called officially? An elephant breeding facility or an elephant habitat? We've been calling it a remote elephant. Center. Of all the things we'll vote on this fall, here's one we can all feel good about. The Oregon Zoo Measure. It protects animal health and safety. The 2008 Oregon Zoo Bond only says it would give, quote, more humane conditions for elephants. Outdoor space will increase from 1.5 to 6 acres, adding watering holes, shade structures, large trees and boulders, providing more outside exercise and offering a more natural environment. But below that wording for the bond, on the ballot in bold print, an argument for the bond stating an elephant reserve is crucial. That was written by the Oregon Humane Society. They backed the bond, believing there would be an off-site elephant reserve. Who was saying that that was going to happen? You know, it was conversations with a lot of folks. We have presentations by Metro personnel and zoo personnel, went to meetings about it, and we definitely came away with the impression that there would be an off-site reserve for the elephants. I found this video taken by a private citizen. It's from a Metro public meeting in May of 2008, six months before the vote. The money for the off-site uh, facility is in this bond. We are committed to building the very best elephant facilities we have at a zoo and in a community in our region. And so that money is in here. Metro Councilor Carlotta Colette did not respond to my request for an interview. So I tried to talk to her after a Metro Council meeting. But the Metro Communications Director wouldn't let me pass him. Are you trying to block us no, from I'm talking to a policymaker? To well, to we're going to try to go talk to them. Are you seriously going to try to block me to from talk? talking to a public official? What are you trying to talk to them about? Are we at a public meeting? And while Metro's website post for the council meeting says the public is encouraged to attend, I was not granted access to any Metro public officials for answers. She's not here now, but she well, was she just was here. just here, yes, but so then you blocked me from I speaking with her. You. Please stop saying that. That's not fair. It's not accurate. I'm, I'm trying pretty to sure you that you just blocked me. This is an awfully large room. I'm not a large person. I did find this Metro document from November of last year. It shows the Bond Oversight Committee discussing the remote elephant center. It reveals the 240-acre site at Rosalyn Lake would cost $1 million per year to run. Adding a funding source has yet to be identified. Because now voters are still waiting for this and it hasn't been delivered. We have money set aside to construct an off-site elephant facility should it be um, something that the Metro Council chooses to go forward with. Some animal advocates say the concept of an elephant refuge or sanctuary was brought up to get the $125 million bond to pass. That was included in there to kind of draw animal people in, draw people like us in who are suspicious of 
uh, zoo and metro. Oregon Humane Society Executive Director Sharon Harmon calls it a lack of planning ahead. It's taken a long time and still no reserve has been created and now it, it appears that it may not be. But the Oregon Zoo elephant curator tells me the zoo's new elephant exhibit triples the room elephants have to roam and their quality of life will vastly improve. What did you say like this? Is their sanctuary? I'm sorry. Absolutely. Yeah, this is their home. This is what they know. They're around people who have known them, some of them for all of their lives. We've created this to be their home. We've created this to be their sanctuary. This space here? This entire thing. This has all been designed for them. And this is like a sanctuary to you? I think the entire habitat is designed to be just that. Metro paid PGE $10 to have the option to buy the Rosalind Lake property. Now, if they decide to buy the land, they'll pay $925,000 for it. But Metro's been doing studies on the 240 acres, and there are some possible concerns. Like, is the ground too wet for the elephants? And could elephant waste run off into Sandy River? Total cost to date for looking into the possibility of a remote elephant center are at about $118,000. Now, so far, efforts to find a different property have been unsuccessful. Live in the newsroom, Carla Castaño, Coin 6 News. Okay, Carla, this concludes your uh, four part series on the elephants at the Oregon Zoo. And Carla, course, great work. You can watch all of those other stories on our website, coin.com, and we've also posted the stories on our Facebook page if you'd like to weigh in there.